So let's look at two examples about the concave lens. So how do we know the example 5 is talking about the concave lens? Because it says that it is a p-hole. So we know that we will use the concave lens as the p-hole. And then how to find the image and draw the reflected ray by the rule 3. And then the rule 1, we can complete two light ray. And how about the last light ray? Okay, we have to draw the image first. Okay, and because all the light ray will follow the position of the image, so we can draw the reflected ray here, and then we can complete this free light ray. Then for the magnification, m equals to v over u, which is the image distance over the object distance, so we can find the answer here. Make sure you use the decimal number for the answer. And the last example here, okay, is an application of the p-hole lens. So when you look at the question like this, make sure you spend some time to read the question carefully, okay, so that you can know what it's talking about here. So you can see in the figure below, there is a shaded area, which is the area we can able to see the image. And then the visitor from point P, Kitty, can just see him. This is also a hint for the next part. So for the part A, you can see that the advantage of using concave lens inside the p-hole. If you still remember, we have covered it in the previous page because of the larger field of view. This is the advantage. And then we will draw the light ray from P and then find the image. So how to draw the image? We don't have the focus and we don't know the focal length. But at least we have the rule number three so that we can draw a light ray directly to the center and it will just keep going like this. Then where is the image? So look at the question again. It say that Kitty just see him. So just see him means that the image is formed inside the shaded area. And just see him so it's formed on the edge of the shaded area. So this is the position of the image. And then where is the focus? So we have to draw it with the rule number one, which is related to the focus. So the light parallel to the axis. Okay, then how does it reflect? It reflects, it will follow the image. So we will direct the light ray from the image to that point. And then we can get the focus here. So for the part D, it's simple because focal length is just the distance between the focus and the lens which is about 6 cm here.